Hey, everybody. I have been noticing lately that a lot of people are talking about light, L-I-G-H-T, light. And Barry, I'm wondering what you think of when I say the word light. Uh, well, I think of sunlight, candlelight, daylight, flashlight. Uh, we also use the word light uh, in terms of weight, like one thing might be lighter than another. Uh, but I think mainly of uh, like sunlight, daylight, and uh, the way light um, gives us the opportunity to see things. So this is December uh, when you and I are having this conversation. And I think one of the reasons that people talk about light during the month of December is that something very real happens called the winter solstice. Barry, what is the winter solstice? Well, it's a, it, uh, it's the shortest day of the year and the longest night of the year. Uh, and it's also um, a time when we move from the time of the days getting darker and darker to they start to get uh, lighter and lighter. And the, the solstice is that exact time, that exact point when we move from uh, things getting darker to things getting lighter. So it's, it's an astronomical event. It's the way that the earth goes around the sun which makes this happen, but it's also always been a cultural event too, because people celebrate that the days are getting lighter because sunlight is so important to the way that we live. So one of the things you said is that it's an astronomical event. That means that it has to do with our universe and the planets. So we're gonna talk about that just for a second. Pretend that this is our universe and this big yellow ball is our sun, right? And the light is coming out from our sun all over the place. And the planets go around the sun. And we're gonna pretend this little guy right here is actually the earth. So the earth is going around the sun, but throughout the year, there's a fancy word, it's called declination. And that's the angle that the light is hitting the earth. So throughout the year, that angle actually changes as the earth moves to different angles away from the sun, different. So there's a different declination. So while here, the light would be hitting right here on the earth, but when it's up here, most of the light's gonna be in a different place. And with the winter solstice, if you live in the northern half of the earth, you're likely to have less light. So that's the real part of what happens, but then there's kind of the feeling of what happens. What is that like? What do you think it was like a long time ago, Barry? Well, I think in ancient times, you know, people didn't know exactly what was going on astronomically, but they could see that the days were getting shorter and the nights were getting colder and, you know, you had to gather firewood and you had to, get your um, food in for the winter. And so <clears throat> once people started marking time and keeping track of things, they, they found when this actual solstice point was. And there are uh, places all over the, the earth where ancient people celebrated the time of the solstice. Um, it's considered that that's what Stonehenge is. The, the rocks at Stonehenge in England are about celebrating the solstice. And it's been a very, very important time socially for people to move towards the light because they know it'll be time once again for planting crops and for, uh, for growing things and things are gonna get warmer. So uh, it's always been, solstice has always been a big deal and it still is and we can still feel a kind of pulling on us when the days get darker and, and uh, it kind of brings us inside and, and uh, causes us to go inside to think a little bit more about ourselves too. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, and I bet a lot of you ha may have noticed this, right? That there's less daylight, the dark seems to come earlier. It's maybe darker when you wake up in the morning. And guess what? Those days are about to shift and we're start, gonna start to get a little more light every day. And I think um, what Barry just said, you know, not only will we actually see that outside, but you also feel that, right? You feel that in your body and you feel that in your energy and you feel that in your heart. And that's kind of like the light of spirit. We know spirit is always with us always, but the way spirit's light shines, you know, it also shines in this way. Um, what do you think, Barry? Well, I think we, 
I think each of us have an inner light, you know, and, and this, that never goes out, <clears throat> but that gets tested from time to time. And I think that uh, the solstice kind of connects us with our inner light because uh, we have to go inside and uh, we don't have as much time to be outside and to play and to run around with our friends. And so we have to, uh, we have to be comfortable with ourselves and be comfortable with uh, taking care of ourselves inside and that's and uh the the darkness kind of forces us to go in and we have to be comfortable with that and know that we have a light within us that's uh bright enough to keep on shining so spirit's light is always shining and with the return of the light around the winter solstice we look particularly at the ways spirit's light is shining and you know in december some of those ways show up really often one way is giving. Maybe you give presents to your friends and family. Maybe you've even taken a tag off of a giving tree and bought a gift for somebody that you don't even know. Giving is definitely one of the ways that Spirit's Light shines. And helping. You know, where Barry and I are having this conversation is in Colorado. Here we have a lot of snow. So helping a neighbor shovel, right? Those kinds of ways that you are helping is another way that Spirit's Light is shining. And then love. I'm sure you have lots of ways that you're showing love to the people that are important to you. And love is probably one of the most important ways that Spirit's Light is shining. What do you think, Barry? Are there other ways that Spirit's Light is shining as right now? I think just in our feeling of being uh, connected with something big, that there's a bigger story unfolding and that we're a part of it. You know, I think that, you know, I'm reminded today of that song, uh, This Little Light of Mine, you know, and we, we sing that in Sunday school and people have for a long time because it's just, just reminds us that we have a light to shine and the people around us and the people in our families and the people we go to school with and our friends, uh, we make a difference by the light that we bring to every situation we go into. We do. We do make a difference. Okay, we have an affirmation for you today. Our affirmation is, I am always in the light. I am always in the light. I know it and Barry knows it and I hope you know it and we will hold you in the light until we see you next time. Bye everybody.